I'm at Bergstrom Mitsubishi Motors of Appleton. I don't think I've ever been to a Mitsubishi dealer. I've definitely seen them, noticed them, but uh, I don't know, I guess they uh, never like stood out in the like reliability rankings or performance rankings. And uh, maybe I've just never paid attention. A little more of an everyday brand, apparently, at least based on price. But uh, I mean, under under thirty thousand for a, a new vehicle, these are uh, very reasonable. Wow, compared to uh, other things I'm seeing, I really don't know much about the uh, reliability. Well, yeah, I guess I don't know much about Mitsubishi. I've seen a, I just did see an Outlander once that had a bad engine in it. I got some Mazdas over there. Oh, let's check the front row. See what they have. More Outlanders. I think Outlander is a decent size SUV. 26 uh, miles to the gallon. Since 38,000. Looks like a nice interior. Panoramic roof. This one's a 2024. I guess it does say in the corner of the tag what year they are. So they're kind of heavy on 2024s also. Ah, a little smaller. Oh, Outlander Sport. Seems quite a bit smaller. So same name, but uh, Sport means it's uh, half the size apparently. Some more stitching, but like a cloth and civil leather. Two liter engine, 26 miles to the gallon, about 30 grand. Now it's down to 23 for brand new. A lot of brands you can't even get a used one for that. And I'll say do your research before you buy one. Although like a, you know, a lease or something, I guess I wouldn't be afraid. As long as I wasn't getting stuck with it. All right, what do they got on the bed still? Is this a special one? More noticeable. Let's see 31,000 like that. It just doesn't seem bad in today's market for a new vehicle, depending on what your depreciation is going to be. 26 miles to the gallon, pretty common. All right, jump off the pedestal. I've seen all 2024s, but I'm kind of watching them going and not watching the uh, Oh, this is cute. This is tiny. Uh, reminds me of the uh, small uh, Nissan Sentra. That's what it reminds me of. It's a 2024. I mean, under 20 grand though. And it's new. Look how little those tires are. Mirage G4. Must be, can fit four people. Yeah, it's 37 miles to the gallon. I guess about a hybrid. Uh, 1.2 liter. That is tiny. The uh, original window, under 20 grand. There you go, there's your uh, under $20,000 car. <coughs> ah, excuse me. Outlander for over 30. Another Outlander. All right, we're kind of, uh, I don't know, not that close to Mercedes. Not sure why these are over here, but let's just take a quick look. See, they've got uh, their, I don't know, which call this a sprinter. They've got their vans marked down, which I'm kind of surprised. I just remember so often you couldn't get these at all. Seems like it'd be fun to make a camper out of one. Kind of keeps going. I always thought the uh, height of these would uh, catch the wind. It's been, oh, only 4,000 miles. This is crew. Hard to see. Oh, it just has like one row of seats and then the back is open. I always thought this would be the one you'd make into a camper so you could fit a couple people. Get a couple people in there. And that's the row. Yeah, Sprinter. Oh, 3,500, 2,500, so we got the weight right there. All right, I think these are the used ones I rock walked across the uh, Front row. 
Of course, these don't have hang, ta hang tags. Like cock. Oh, this is new. Hyundai. Salty Burks from Hyundai. 43,000, 21 miles to gallon. So they've got their, uh, but Hyundai's all the way over here. The Hyundai dealership is on the other side of Mitsubishi, so uh, Hyundai must be uh, kind of packed full. Mazda, everybody's doing that flat front. Oh, see, that's a 2025. Oh, they've got the uh, list price and the sale price is the same number. So they're a little more confident that they're on the 2024s. But CX-5, I mean, that seems nice. Unless you got a big family. So Mitsubishi must be doing okay if they've got uh, more Hyundais on their lot than they have Mitsubishis. More Outlanders. They only have that one car though. Everything else is SUV, SUV. Let's go across the front. Yeah, a ton of Outlanders. So they were really, production was really banking on uh, SUVs selling like crazy. Although I think a lot of the problem is uh, everybody's a pursuit of margin. Trying to sell the nicest thing with the most options. Thinking it'll make their shareholders happy. All right, so the cheapest thing in the lot was, I forget what that was, that little Mitsubishi car. And I don't see any other cars. Any other non-SUV. Oh, see, here's a Sentra. See, they're kind of narrow. Although this is a used lot. Yeah, some uh, Equinoxes. Every lot's got some Equinoxes. Only 7,600 for the Nissan Sentra. Oh, Dodge. Also under eight grand. I just got to see the Camry. Always amazed at what a uh, old Camry's. This is for, oh, no, 8,500. But how old is this thing? 2007. Probably with a crazy number of miles. 189,000, so creeping up on 200,000 miles. And I still want 8,500 for it. And that's why uh, Camry sold the value, I guess. Somebody will probably pay that. All right, that's the end of uh, Mitsubishi. Appleton.